verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendon and flesh appeared on them, and the skin covered them. But there was no breath in them. Verse 9, then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and I said to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into this land, that they may live, verse 10. So I prophesied and as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Verse 11. Then he said to me, Son of man, this bone are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried, are dried up, and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Hallelujah. Prophesy. Prophesy. And prophesy. Hallelujah. The title of my message today is Valley of Dry Bones. You might have heard of these scriptures of, of this sermon several times. But today God wants you to hear from another angle. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants you to hear it from a different angle today. When you look at the word valley, a valley is a low-lying area, usually with the hills or mountains around. Usually along the valley you can find a river or a brook, as Pastor Fis was saying, where there is fresh water flowing, fresh water which is seeping out of the mountains, because most of the mountains they cut what is known as the water table. So water will be seeping out of the mountains into the valley. But this valley we are talking about today is a valley of dry bones. Today God wants to take us into the valley of dry bones where most people are afraid to go. Most churches today are afraid of dry places. They feel dry things. But today, Mazanon, I am here to tell you that there is a remedy for dry places, for dry bones. And the remedy is the word of God. Hallelujah. Today's generation, Mazanon, be a generation of prophetic people. God is raising a prophetic generation today was a Lord name. Who are not afraid to go into places where no one has never been. Where no one has entered before. Was all name. Where we have read we have heard the man Ezekiel. At that time, when all this was happening, the children of Israel were under captivity. They were in exile, Barcelona, in the place called Babylon. And it happened that there was a man 
prophet of God, a man by the name Ezekiel. By that time, Ezekiel had been left behind. He was still in Israel, in a place known as Tel Aviv today, where God came to him as his prophet and he took him to show him what was happening to the children of Israel when they were in captivity. God was showing to Ezekiel that the children of Israel were in turmoil. They were in trouble when they were in Barcelona. The Spirit of God took Ezekiel and he dived into the situation where he saw or visualized he saw the vision of what was happening to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. He saw that the children of Israel they were drowning in death. They had lost hope. They, the last thing to lose is hope. When you have lost hope, everything is finished about you. So, when you are talking about dry bones, we are talking about a situation where you say, there is no life here. It's a bone. If it was a bone with some flesh, you could have some hope. But it bones when dry. Barcelona, the Holy Spirit made a Ezekiel to see how the children of Israel were suffering at that particular time. When he was amongst other people, he couldn't see what was happening, but God lifted him another level when he looked down to the children of Israel what he saw was a nation of bones and this was an explanation enough to show how the children of Israel were suffering in, his, in, the, in captivity was most prophets today, when they prophesy us, they only want to talk about the positive things, the good things are known. They speak about houses, they speak about planes, they speak about billions of dollars, they speak about money in your account, but they never speak about the negative things they might have been seen. The dryness that might be there in your life. Hallelujah. This prophet we are speaking about today was the prophet of God. And God took him, Bazalon, to show him the conditions and the situation in which the children of Israel were at that particular time. I pray today that the prophets of today can show us the conditions in which we are, the situations in which we are, the real life situations which we might find ourselves in, not only to talk about nice things only. Hallelujah. If people are dry, they are dry. Never sugarcoat your ways. Say it as it is. When God gives you a revelation, say it as it is. Don't try to hide your ways. Try to polish your ways. 
say it as it is verse 1. God said to Ezekiel. Go and see the condition of the children of Israel. Go and see the conditions in which they are living, Basalam. He took him spiritually and showed him and showed him the dryness of the situation in which the children of Israel were. God is able, Basalam, to make him see what is beyond what other people can see, what is hidden, God can reveal it to you. He can open your eyes and make you see what is behind the behind of the behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the end of this chapter, God said, Professor, Professor, Prophesy over the dry bones and they shall live again. You might be in a dry situation today in Zabon. You might be in a valley down there. You are trying to crawl out of that valley. You are in that situation, Bazalwan, and God is looking at you today. When you are looking at you physically, you are fine. Financially, you are fine. From the outside, you might look fine. But when God looks at your situation, Basalagi says, This person is very tired. He needs the hand of God to be upon him. Hallelujah. You might be a church. You come and jump up and down. And it's like we are singing together as a church. We are enjoying jumping up and down. But when God looks at your situation, God looks at your heart. He says that heart is dry. Hallelujah. Don't be dry when your feet are right in, the, in water, you are standing in water, but you are dying of thirst. Easy. Ezekiel said these words, the hand of the Lord was upon me. Was Lord, if the hand of the Lord is upon you, there is no situation which is too hard for you. You can transcend through any situation when the hand of the Lord is upon you, was Lord. No obstacle. No situation can stop you, Bazalan. Ezekiel was taken to a crucial place where many of us today may fear to be. Most of us today, as Christians, we want or we love places which have been conquered already. Stand up and be great. We don't want to fight or wait for this world and be pioneers of the good will of God. Stand alone for Osoku Fukweko. 
Sifie lapo kisito se si kutele lwe kukuna. Si atata kisiti. Sifale mapoveti. Oda yisi eni eskuma alu kula mshanji. Bani fena wane. Bani mela. Oda kinazikani so ite nani. Enjo ubanda ubo kutahe. Ya kutu wana la mshanji. Angege miso tuwe. Mutas kutu wenge mkulu. The whole day. So put my mask to bed. That's all I need. The way to the day needs people who are strong. People who can prophesy the future. Who can see the future. That's all I need. God wants to rise prophetic people among us. That's all I need. Those who are not afraid of any situation. Say, here am I, Lord. Use me for you to be a great disciple. You should have discipline. For the word discipline is derived from the word disciple is derived from the word discipline. If you don't have discipline, that's all. You cannot be a disciple. But God is saying today. I know the good plans I have for you. I want to raise you from a nobody to some somebody. God takes those things you look down upon, those small things, and raise them to the highest level for you to see his power. When Moses was alone, could not speak. Moses was a stammerer. When God wanted to use him, he used him as he was. He didn't take him to a physician or to a doctor to say, please, speech therapist, deal with this man because I want to use him later. He took him as he was. That's a lot. What seventh is what when Moses, if you cannot speak, I will take your brother Aaron, who is eloquent. My words will go through you. And then Aaron will speak to the people. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, He will not depart from you, Master. Hallelujah. It is only the hand of God that will separate you from the rest. It is only the hand of the Lord that will make you to prosper, Master Lord. He will answer your prayers. Even if before you pray, God will answer your prayers as long as His hand is upon you. Sometimes some of these blessings we get, we have not prayed for them. We just spoke in passing. But God was listening. And He answered. Because there is power in the spoken word. Hallelujah. When you pray, you are just officializing rubber stick, your prayer. But God would have answered you, your prayer. Was when the hand of the Lord is upon you, God will lead you as a Lord. But God sometimes doesn't only lead you to nice places only. He can lead you into places where there is hardships. For in that situation, He knows there is a lesson for you to learn. Hallelujah. Ezekiel was taken to the valley 
of dry bones. <coughs> what God wants is what God will do. He decides what he wants and he wants what he decides. <coughs> Hallelujah. Bazalone. Where we read it say professor, professor, and professor. You are the best person who knows yourself. You know yourself when you are angry. You know yourself when you are happy. You know yourself when you don't have. You know yourself when you have plenty. You are the best prophet of yourself, Barcelona. I hear me very well. I'm not saying there are no prophets out there. But be careful with some of these prophets, Barcelona, which you might meet on the way. You will hear someone say, The Lord has told me that you have got a mother. Is that prophet? But go deeper, go deeper. <laughs> the Lord has shown me that your mother is female. <laughs> is that prophecy? <laughs> if you don't want to support me, Barcelona, be a prophet of your own life. Yeah. Prophesy to your children. Prophesy to your husband. Prophesy to your marriage. Prophesy to your situation. Prophesy to your job because your ways, God is listening. They will never go back to you without accomplishing what you want, Basama. Today I would like to say the hand of the Lord Basalone is upon you. Lord devil. Or no situation is too hard for God. I also would like to prophesy as a Lord today and say, when the hand of the Lord is upon you, all those dry situations in your life will come to an end. All those dry bones in your life will become will come to life today as well. Allow the hand of God today to lift you up from where you are because you cannot solve a, a problem when you are on the same level with it. God is to lift you up to another level. You can, cannot solve a problem when you are standing on the same ground with it. You have to be lifted to another level. When Ezekiel was lifted high up on the mountains, and God asked him, What do you see? He said, At first, when I was with these people, I saw normal people, people wearing suits and nice clothes. But when I'm here, I'm seeing from that another angle. I'm seeing dry bones. Dry bones in the valley. Bazalani. Umoya wen gurusi. Wam tap ezekia. Wam mega entame. Now you have plan your kumunguru zo parat salapo kona. I will forget on the higher ground. So that when you are looking at your problems. You can see clearly. Rumoya will go see you on to his gear. Oh, we are it. Rumoya will go see you on to his gear. Oh, we are it. Was it she? Was she? Was she? Oh, 
Lord will take you out of that situation. And you try to help God. So this situation is too big for me. It's really too long cool lap. You want to enhance yourself, yes, do all as I which is we are. Maybe that thing is from an animal or was the affena animal. The word of God alone is the remedy of your solution and the solution of your problems was alone. Hallelujah. Today, Basalani, I'd like to say to you, go before the Lord and say, Lord, here am I. Tell me what to do. Hallelujah. As you are sitting there, just touch your knee, Baba Salam. And say to you, do not complain about your situation. Professor, talk to your situation. Talk to your dry areas in your life. Talk to those dry bones not so that they come to life. Talk to your future and say it shall be well with you. It shall be well with my life. Was a learning. The word is professor, professor, and professor. Talk to that diabetes today. Talk to that blood pressure today. Talk to whatever situation you are passing through. And say today is your last day in my life. Professor, professor, and professor. Hallelujah. You might have heavy vehicles, you might be heavy mountains on your way, a mountain city on your destiny. But God said, with that little faith you have, as small as a mustard seed, that faith can move mountains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Red Sea in front of them. The chariots were coming. Pharaoh and his people were coming. Was that The hand of the Lord was upon them. That cloud which was in front of them shifted and moved to their back them as It was because the hand of the Lord was upon them. The chariots which were chasing them, which are about maybe a few meters to get to them, they stopped. The Holy Spirit protected them. And I think by that time the Holy Spirit was seen. When you call in love, oh, when you call in love, you love to love, when you call in love, you call in love, you love to 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 love, 
Ubusebenzis against your situations, against your enemies. Bazalani, when the hand of the Lord is upon you, when the hand of the Lord is upon you, today I say to you, Bazala, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and it will stay upon you. That dry situation, those dry bones, shall live again. Hallelujah.